Breaking news. Federal government has increased prices of food services again in the country. The Consumer Price Index, which measures how high or low prices of goods and services in the country are, has increased to 18.17% in March against the 17.33% recorded in February. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, it reports republished on Thursday, the March data is the highest yet seen January 2017, when inflation jumped to 18.72%. The food inflation also rose by 1.16% on a year-on-year -year basis from 21.79% in February to 22.95 in March. The NBS further said in the report that the rise in the food index was caused by increases in price of bread and cereals, tomatoes, yam, and other tubers, meats, vegetable, fish, oils, and fat, and also fruits. Increases were recorded in all classification of individual consumption by purpose divisions, yet the headlines indexed and the report said. On a month-on-month -month basis, the headline index increased to 1.56% in March, indicating 0.02 percent points higher than the rates recorded in the previous month, which was 1.54%. Percentage. The percentage change in the average composite, composite CPI for the 12 month period ending March 2021 over the average of CPI for the previous 12 months period was 14.55%, representing a 0.50% point higher than the 14.05% recorded in February. Sincerely, the urban inflation rate increased to 18.76% year-on-year in March 2021 from 17.92% recorded in February. The rural inflation rate, on the other hand, now stood at 17.60% in the March 2021 from the 16.77% recorded last month. The urban index on a month on month basis rose to 1.60% in March, representing an increase of 0.02% compared to the rate recorded in February, while the rural index also rose to 1.52% in March by up by sorry 0.2 compared to the 1.50% rates that was recorded in the previous month. According to the NBS reports, the corresponding 12 months year on year average percent change for the urban index is 15.15% in March. The agency noted that this was higher than the 14.66% reported in February, while the respond corresponding rural inflation rate in March was 13.95% compared to 13.48% recorded in February. It reveals that the composite, composite food index rose to 22.95% in March compared to 21.79% in February. On a month-on-month -month basis, the food sub index increased to 1.90% in March, up to 0.1%. 0.1 percent point from 1.89 percentage recorded in February. This rise in the food index was caused by increases in prices of bread and cereals, potatoes, yam, and other tubers like meats, vegetable, fish, oils and fats, and fruits. The average annual rate of change of the food sub index for the 12 months period ended March 
2021, over the previous 12 months, average was 17.93% to 0.68% points from the average annual rate of change recorded in February 2020. The urban inflation rate increased by 18.76 percentage year on year in March 2021 from 17.92 percent recorded in February 2021, while the rural inflation rate increased by 17.60 percent in March 2021 from 16.77 percent in February, the report says. In March 2021, the food inflation on a year-on-year -year basis was highest in Kogi, that is 29.71%, Sokoto 27.02%, and Ebony State 26.59%, while Abuja 20.10%, Kebi 19.98%, Bauchi 18.61%, was recorded the slowest rose, right, sorry, the slowest rise in year-on-year -year inflation. On month on month basis, however, March 2021 food inflation was highest in River 3.52%, Ninja 2.92%, Gobi 2.85%, while Zamfara 0.51% was recording the slowest rise in month on month food inflation with Yobi and Kibi recording price deflation or negative inflation, the general decrease in the general price level of food or a negative food inflation rates. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Hmm. This is outrageous. For how long are we going to continue this way? Increment in food items? I'm going to survive, but notwithstanding, no matter the increment in food, we still survive. God still made us survive, and we keep surviving. Before now, we used to eat three times square meats. I'm sorry, three square meats a day, meals a day. Sorry, but before because of this increment in food prices, we now we we we, we now eat two, some one, but still. God is still by our side. God is still by our side. We still eat what satisfies us, even if it's not too much. But at least it satisfies and sustains us. That is the most important thing. That is the most important. Yes. But why are the federal government doing this to the country? The reason why they are increasing the price of commodities, price of food, is what we cannot get. It's what we cannot even, we can't even uh, think of. You can imagine. You can imagine. I think Nigeria is on the way to become, uh, uh, could become uh, Venezuela. Yes. The rate at which food items are expensive in Nigeria, in the market, is so alarming. It's very much alarming. So go to the market and you know how our money as devalued the, the now dollars a one a one dollar per naira or what i put it is 480 naira per dollar you can imagine look at where our currency is being depreciated it's been devalued you can imagine that's part we're changing this dollar in this amount and when we want to get food stuff when we want to get items when we want to get food services we still use the same money to get these products, to get these items. You can imagine. You can imagine this. This is so alarming. You see how we, we, the, the, the money we take to the market is depreciating or is devalued. All because of the increments in food items. One thousand naira can you can't even buy a a, a a congo of rice and gari. Cannot it can't. It can't. Even I want to before it used to buy three congos of rice, three or three, two congos of rice or garibona. It can't. It can no longer get uh, a one thousand congo of gari. Few years back, this same one thousand naira would buy a congo of rice, congo of beans, and also gari. And we even collect 
change. But no, if there is inflation, income wage should increase as well as, as well. Yes, it should increase as well. If there is inflation, income wage should also increase as well. But no, it remains stagnant. This is a thing is that nobody is even talking about it. Nobody is even discussing anything about it. The cabals are not discussing anything. The federal government are not saying anything. It's we, the citizens, that are suffering from this. Especially the ones that are not even um, rich. The poor ones that are really suffering. At least the middle bed, the middle ones are, just, are still managing. But the poor, the poor ones, how would they manage? Can they consider the poor, these poor ones? Can't they consider these poor ones? Can't they? You can imagine. There are so, so much suffering. And it's not like people are comfortable. They are not. They just pretend to be comfortable. You can imagine. Not you know Nigerians. We easily adapt to changes. Suffering and smiling is our logo. Yes. So you won't know how these high prices of food has eat a lot of families until you visit their household one after the other. What a pity. <laughs>